Today marks the one year anniversary since I made a significant switch in my video editing journey. In 2017, I started using Premiere Pro. It was my go-to until 2023. But what led me to make this switch? Don't want to do some time for my stuff. My name is Terry. Let's just dive right into it. Reasons for switching. I switched to DaVinci Resolve because of the reviews and a recommendation from Benjamin Hartman, actually. If you don't know Benjamin Hartman, go take a look at his, uh, his Instagram page. It's the best photography content that you could ever check out. Ben said it was the way to go and I thought, why not? I wanted to get better at playing with colors in my videos. And so long story short, I watched some tutorials, even bought some courses and just took a deep dive into DaVinci and here we are. So what's cool about DaVinci? First off, DaVinci is quick and it doesn't crash on me, at least not as often like Premiere Pro did. The way it's organized, moving from media to edit, uh, fusion and audio and, and color, uh, I think it's just so smooth. And that color tab, it's like a secret weapon, almost. I'm still figuring it out, but it's still a game changer. Also, the voice AI isolation is just so cool. And just working with their audio tab is so much better than Premiere's Pro audio tab. Of course, the color tab as well. Premiere Pro doesn't really have a color tab, at least feels like that. Project library and power bins. Now let's talk about the cool project library thing. I can basically make a library, let's say it's titled YouTube. So in there I can store all of my YouTube projects like this one and my other YouTube projects. From there I can just have bins that are called power bins. Power bins are collected to folder that is on my desktop, which is named YouTube as well. Uh, inside there I just keep all my YouTube stuff in one place like sound effects, overlays, texts and everything. So when I am editing a YouTube video and I want to have it similar to the other ones, I just got everything in this one bin already ready for me to edit. I can just simply drag and drop these titles over, the film overlays, like everything. And this will just keep growing when I'm doing more and more. But this was also a huge minus when I was starting out because I thought I had to make a new library for every single project that I did, like you do in Premiere Pro. So when you do that, they always ask you to select your cast folders and stuff like that for every single project. And that gets quite annoying and when you forget, they automatically put that on your desktop and just fill up your computer with some cache. Now, I've heard that I'm not supposed to make a library for every single project. So what I'm doing now is, or what I'm thinking about doing now at least, is, is making a library called Client Work and have all my client projects there. Then I can also have my YouTube library and then I can make one that's personal or, or something like that. Basically, I'm still figuring this out, so it's quite hard as of right now. Best part about DaVinci. The best part is I paid for the studio version once and I got that software forever. I've paid 50 bucks for Adobe Cloud Service per month for over four years, I believe. So that's around $2,400 in total. That versus the amount that I paid for DaVinci is crazy. I finally just changed my plan to Lightroom plus Photoshop, but that is still like $20 a month. So I actually think it's crazy how much you're paying for these softwares. Learning curve and hiccups. Of course, not everything was rainbows and unicorns. The project library confused me at first, just like I said, and I'm still figuring that one out. I'm no expert yet, like some things like speed ramps, I need a bit more practice. There are also some things that I did know when I was using Premiere Pro, but I don't have a clue how to do it in DaVinci and it's really hard to Google it because sometimes I really can't put it into words. But like, okay, we're just all learning, so it doesn't really matter. But what do I miss from Premiere Pro? Don't get me wrong, DaVinci is great, but there's some things that I miss from Premiere Pro, like the super fast workflow for small projects. Like there was everything in this one window, you could just do everything really quickly. I like that one. Also, I missed the feature in Audition where I could like remix songs that would fit perfectly. That was really handy. So if you don't know that trick, then you have to learn it. It's like so great. AI features and future thoughts. I heard Premiere Pro is getting all fancy with AI. Uh, that sounds really cool and, and who knows, maybe I'll go back someday. But for now, I am switching to DaVinci. I think it's a much better deal for what I paid and that's the main thing that I like about it. So final thoughts. Here's to one year with DaVinci Resolve. It's been a ride, it's been a learning curve and a bit of confusion, but overall I recommend giving it a shot. It got full cool features, it won't break the bank and it's just fun to use. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.